We have another person's question. Let me see which question was this. Paledi Musa. So Paledi also wanted us to do an equation or a summary, but now she they've actually given us two volumes, and I understand where you might get confused with this one. So the first one says eight, eight grams. So eight grams, they've actually given us this HD of sodium, of sodium hydroxide, of sodium hydroxide, are dissolved, are dissolved in 350 cubics. Oh, I see where the problem with this question might be. And I'm gonna draw you a picture. If you feel like you don't understand something in chemistry or in physics, draw a picture. Even if your cars look like watermelons, it's fine. And 15 cubic centimeters of the solution, of this solution neutralizes, neutralizes 20 cubic centimeters, aha, of sulfuric acid. Again, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid solution. So let's draw a picture with what happened. We've got eight grams of sodium hydroxide are dissolved in 350 cubic centimeters. Think of a cup, if you have a cup, right? And it has a volume of 350 cubic centimeters and you dissolve eight grams, let's color that in, eight grams of sodium hydroxide of distilled water and then 15 a cubic centimeters of the solution is neutralized. So we mean out of this 350, we take 15 na, 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 until let's say it gets to somewhere there, that's what's then left, is then used to neutralize the 20 cubic centimeters of sulfuric acid. That's what it's telling us. That's what they actually did. So now our, our equation, according to Bal Balisa's question, we have NaOH plus H2SO4. Now, with the NaOH, they've given us the grams. They've given us eight grams. They've given us the volume that they first diluted it with 350 cubic centimeters. They've given us a second volume of 15 cubic centimeters. Just Let's just recap on this. I want you to think. If you are making toilet cleaner, right, and you have a concentrated jug of toilet cleaner, and let's say it's five liters. Another five liters, you have five one liters. And in all of these one liters, you put it in a five liter and you fill it up with water. You've taken a concentrated version. So out of the five liter, you took out one liter and you increased, you added that with water. So you were diluting it. So that's the same thing that happened here. We had 350 cubic centimeters of distilled water and we dissolved eight kilograms of this, eight grams of that. Once it was dissolved in the water, we made sure that it was shaken up nicely and no one could see anything. And then we took 15 cubic centimeters of the, of the, of the non-concentrated, of the diluted solution from the cup where we, where we had actually um, put in the eight grams of sodium hydroxide. So that's what happened, right? So under the H2SO4, we have a volume of 20, okay. So now, the first thing that you'll have to do before we run out of time is to calculate the mass of your, of your NaO2 because they want, you to, they want to know, um, what do they want to know? We must calculate the concentration of sulfuric acid. We must look for the concentration of the sulfuric acid. And then if you use the same methods that I've showed you, either one or number two, you should come to the correct answer.